Sony has recently revealed their remote play device called PlayStation Portal. And even though it is the perfect device for gamers and households where they might need to share their living room TV, sadly, we can't go by some of the bad things about it. So here are four reasons why PS Portal sucks. First of, Portal is a remote play device and does not support streaming or cloud gaming, which means you still need a PS5 to run games and a fast and stable network connection. Sony says that Portal is optimized for remote play, meaning it should perform much better than on phones or tablets but we don't believe there will be any noticeable difference. Second reason is that there is no Bluetooth, which means that you can't use your wireless headset if you do not buy PlayStation Link device and a new PlayStation headsets like Pulse Elite and Pulse Explorer. Luckily, it includes a 3.5 mm audio jack for wired audio. Third reason is the battery. Even though Sony says that it will perform as long as DualSense controller and offer from seven to 12 hours of playtime, we believe that more reliable runtime will be somewhere between two and four hours. Fourth reason is the screen. Sony went with the LCD screen, which is a good way to reduce the price of the product. But we would pay more for far better looking OLED screen. Portal's eight inch LCD screen capable of 1080p resolution at 60 frames per second is good enough, but we would prefer an OLED screen like it was on new Nintendo Switch model. Tell us in the comments, will you buy PlayStation Portal and what things you would change about it to make it a perfect portable device?